Today, I wanna to have a little chit chat with you all. So recently everyone's been doing the mid-year freak out book tag or whatever it's called. And in one of the questions on that prompt list was what's your newest fictional crush, something like that. A new character you're crushing on from this year's reading so far. I talked a little bit about this in my own tag. Go see that if you want. But I was very, very surprised at how many people's videos I watched where they poo-pooed the fictional crush question. And so I did a poll because I was really curious to find out if most people felt weird about this question and didn't feel that they could answer it. Or if more people were like me and they're like, oh yeah, it's like crushing on all these characters. It was about a three-way tie where there was about a third of the people that answered it said that they do have crushes on fictional characters. About a third said they weren't sure or maybe or it depends or something like that. And then about a third that said no. Because I've been thinking about this ever since this question was going around in the tag. I'm guessing that number one, people have issue with the word crush. It has connotations that m might make people a little squirmy inside. It has a connotation of something that only kids do. So I don't know if we can come up with a different word that would make everyone happy because it is of my opinion that we all crush on our fictional characters, whatever word you want to use there. The second thing I think that's interesting is that this was a topic in a fun thing that we would talk about all the time on book blogging back in the day. And so I don't know, maybe everyone in booktube is different somehow. I don't know. Or maybe it's hard to actually speak the words instead of type the words. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But it seemed like, like, like it was kind of a, a given thing in the book blogging world where we would gush about our favorite fictional characters and who we were falling in love with, so to speak. Falling in love with. Now, I'm not saying that if we have a crush on a fictional character, that's saying we are absolutely like, as if we were in love with some real person in the real world, like true and full on romantic feelings for this person. I'm thinking that maybe we should use the word favorite character, your newest favorite character that's just like really truly getting into your heart. Now I know that all of you huge readers let characters into your heart, do you not? So you're reading along and you love a book and you love the story and you love the characters. Do you let them into your heart? Do you think about them after you read the book? Do you think about them quite a ways down the road after you read the book? Do you want to reread the story sometimes because you love those characters so much? I don't think this is a kid thing. I think this is a story thing. I think this is something that we as readers who completely and totally love to consume stories, I think we all have that that leaning towards letting characters into our hearts. Um, I want to know if I am truly off here, if you as a reader can read a story and love it and not let that character into your heart. Let's not call it a crush if that word bothers you, but where you just absolutely fall in love with a character. Some of the characters that I feel like are common crushes, let's say, in, in at least in my in my circles that I that I'm in, are are characters like Gilbert Blythe from Anne of Green Gables, Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Thornton from North and South, and I feel like there's a ton of others in classical literature that we all love. Um, there's a lot that are controversial, like Mr. Rochester and Heathcliff. And depending on one's mood, you might be crushing on those characters. In in more recent books, people might be crushing on the dude from A Court of Thorns and Roses, maybe even the dude from Fourth Wing. I can't remember everybody's names right now. But we're not talking about like total pure on romances either. We're just talking about any literary fiction books or whatever books where you just think that the person, the main characters or the side characters, I, of, I often really love the side characters. I was looking through a list a minute ago to try and remember some characters that I've 
loved before and there's Roar from Through the Evernight. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that side character. He is amazing. Some other characters that I've loved over the years is um, Quoth from Name of the Wind and Jen from The Thief series by Megan Whelan Turner. And here's the thing, this whole idea that once you get to a certain age, you don't crush on anyone anymore. I think that is just total and pure denial. I'm often finding myself on a soapbox about channeling your younger self and not worrying about these society norms that we're supposed to be a certain way when we get old. That is not at all what I believe. If I was were to believe those norms, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be reading YA books. I wouldn't be loving K-pop. I wouldn't be going to concerts. And I guess I wouldn't be having fictional crushes. I don't know. So my whole spiel today is to say it doesn't matter how old we are or what gender we are, what kinds of books we're reading. If you are a reader who becomes immersed in a story and, and absolutely dives into the characters and everything about a story, then you are a reader that does have a crush on a fictional character at times. So I just want to throw that out there, tell you what I'm thinking, that just because we're older doesn't mean we can't have crushes. Just because it's fictional doesn't mean we can't have crushes. Just because we're a macho dude or whatever doesn't mean we can't have crushes. It's not a thing that's particular to one kind of reader. It's just something that we all do as lovers of books. So I was just so surprised by how many people didn't want to answer that question in the tag. And I want you guys that said that to look back on the books you've read and tell me, maybe if you don't like the word crush, tell me who you fell in love with in any of those books, because I'm sure you did. Maybe not in a romantically sort of a way, but just somebody who you thought was the coolest character ever. Some, a character that got into your heart and that you couldn't stop thinking about. That's who I want you to tell me about. In the replies in this video, I want you to tell me if you feel like you're not a person who crushes on things, still tell me if, if you can answer that question. Somebody who got into your heart this year so far. And if you are a person who is okay with the idea of crushing on a character and you are embracing this whole young at heart thing like I'm trying to do, then tell me who you crush on whether it's a recent book or somebody that's just your ongoing fictional crush, like Gilbert Blythe. There are so many, I know, Gilbert Blythe. Laurie from Little Women, he's another one that everyone loves so much. Yeah, and there's more, I know I'm forgetting because my mind's going blank and I wanted to prepare for this video a little better, but I also wanted to make it be very spontaneous and so I didn't really look up a whole bunch of names and I'm sure I will think of more. Maybe I will do a different video where I just talk about some of these characters a little more and just dedicate a whole video to my fictional crushes past and present. Those are my thoughts and I would love to discuss this. Let me know in comments what you think. Let me know who your crushes are. If you feel like doing a response video and telling, explaining to me why you feel one way or the other, um, whether you feel like I do or whether you are like no way to the crushes. I would love to know why, why do you feel that way? Sometimes I just feel like we need to all loosen up a little bit and just feel the young at heartness that the word crush kind of connotates. Those are my thoughts for the day. Hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, happy reading, bye.